largest and the largest 420 event in Canada. And you can probably guess why this year is particularly special. The haze has risen in Vancouver, and whether it's a protest or a party, there's no shortage of people toking up at the yearly event. <laughs> like a ganja grocery store, cannabis consumers found just about anything they could imagine at Vancouver's greenest event. Now I'm pick your owner. Um, uh, From plants to... You may be able to beat my price, but you can't beat my meat. THC infused pepperoni and beef jerky. We got pizza, coconut buns, donuts, anything your heart can imagine. And for those with the munchies, there was no shortage of food at Sunset Beach, although one pizza could set you back about $56. Meanwhile, some of the controversy of the event lies below everyone's feet. $30,000 of tile was laid down for the event to protect the grass. With the influx of people and vendors, the flooring covered about half of the used green space. And throughout the day, there were more than a few jabs directed at the park board. You're going to damage the grass! And, and you're, you're here without permission. How dare you invite Cypress Hill here? It's going to be too big. There's going to be too many people. Oh, Grandpa, give me a break. The event is unsanctioned and in past years has been considered a protest. Now post-legalization, some say 420 should have to apply for the same permits as every other festival. But people here tend to disagree. Great, um, great festival. I think that um, protesting um, prohibition of such a beautiful plant is something that is vital and something that we need to do today. Our message is, is that cannabis is good and prohibition is wrong and that the legalization that they're trying to give us is not nearly good enough. But of course, the whole day led up to one moment. Well, one minute actually. In Vancouver, Ashley Burr, City News.